Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And this is the 100k challenge, which means it's a super, super cold map. Uh, it's kind of minus 70 around the core of the base here, and then as you spider out, it gets really cold. Minus 150, one, minus 178. So there's some challenges here. Uh, we have no liquid water. All the water on the map is frozen solid. So we're looking for, we're trying to find a geyser that will hopefully make some steam and hot water. Which we could insulate if we had insulation, but to research insulation, insulation we need water, um, and all the water is frozen. So, bit of a catch twenty two here. Um, got a lot of comments on my on this first video, and I forgot to mention last episode that this mod is by Steven. It's on the Steam Workshop. It's a mod, um, pretty easy to find and install. So check it out. Uh, some of you have tried it out. Please don't spoil me with any things, uh, any comments about that. Uh, food, the only food we have on the map so far is food that we're kind of digging up here. So, um, we're gonna run out of food at some point. Everyone's got hypothermia. The hatches even die, it's so cold. So the plan is to try to get in here and some people have noted that I can probably get around the side here maybe. And maybe kind of dig in through these nooks and crannies. That's maybe the plan here. Let's maybe do that as a seven. I need a super duper digger to get in here. And we're gonna have to skill up some dupes to do that. I thought about doing that off camera, but I thought I'd just leave everything in just in case. Uh, some people have said that I that I cheat when I, when I leave cycles out that are really boring. So I'll leave everything in. Uh, I don't find it uh, useful to cheat in a game. That kind of ruins the fun. I have used a thing where you can do high priority on the geysers to see what they are, but I won't be doing that this playthrough. Uh, so lots of suggestions. Uh, I got things like build build a vacuum. Let's throw things down here. Build a vacuum out of tiles. You can kind of corner build tiles like this. Um, we won't actually build them, but and then kind of knock out the center tile and build a vacuum column. And I thought about that for building kind of a vacuum sealed room with, because we don't have insulation yet. But the problem with that is that the interior is going to be lined with all these tiles that are like minus 80. So even if we try to heat up the center, it's going to take forever. Um, so we're going to have to just find liquid water or, as many of you suggested, get up into space because there's hot regolith up there that we could potentially use now I'm not sure if this map is gonna have hot regolith I hope it does so maybe we'll just head up there as kind of a medium priority thing see if we can find any and the dupes are peeing solid <laughs> as you can see uh, which is pretty funny the minute the pee comes out of there it turns into little ice balls and many of you have noted, when this map warms up, eventually, if I can get insulated insulated and warmed up, all the pea, solid pea is going to turn into liquid. So we're going to have to build like a pea, pea pool where we thaw all the pea and let it drain into a tank. So we're kind of blocked on research now. I guess I better turn my coal generator on. Don't have smart batteries yet, so we're kind of controlling this manually. I don't have bathrooms yet. I might build a latrine just for the morale bonus, but for now we're just letting them pee ice. Stress is a bit of an issue here. Let's check our vitals here. How is uh, morale? Morale is fine. Uh, why is Camille so stressed out? Let's see. Soggy feet. Let's check stress here. Uh, cold air. High morale. Okay, that's good. Um, just the cold air, I guess. I guess it'll recover. Okay, batteries are getting charged. That's good. It's going to take them a while to get up and down here. I'd build a fire pole, but I can't because I don't have to research yet. Maybe we'll make this a little bit lower priority. Just if they have time. And then over here, let's try to see if we can... We can't build there, can't dig there yet, so... 
can we get around? Let's try to... Can't really get through there. Can't dig up this light. Maybe we can squeeze through here. I don't know. Don't think we're going to be able to get over there. Maybe I should build my ladder here instead. What are we doing? Okay, let's try that. That's not going to help us much there. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to expose it. Because we're blocked there. We're blocked here. Some of you mentioned there's another geyser up here somewhere. Yeah, up here. This is also blocked by obsidian. So, we just have to hope that the dupe skills up here. Who's our digger? Camille. Camille, anyone else digging? Uh, yeah, just Camille. So, how many skill points left? She's about halfway there, so... Okay, that's not too bad. Just take some time. We'll still try to get in here and... Expose as much as we can, but I think we're kind of... I think we're not going to be able to do it. I don't really care... I mean, I do care which geyser it is, but... I don't care if it's exposed, because pretty much anything... I kind of want to open up. Even a volcano would be great. It would be great, actually, to warm things up. Like, look at the CO2 coming out of here. It's just crazy. Probably cancel these... Uh, we'll let them clean up on low priority. Might be a bit of waiting as they kind of skill up and stuff. I guess we could keep digging. Keep exploring. Kind of got over here. I don't think we can dig that yet. Actually, we can. Oh, interesting. Oops. Abyssalite I thought was super hard, but... Now this area here, this Abyssalite all the way around here in this nice shape here. It's almost like a circle. It's exposed, it's open up here, but this could be a really nice place to warm up because it's going to be perfectly insulated and we wouldn't have to build anything. So I'm tempted to just dig this out and move my base here after we can warm it up, but for now I guess we'll just, we'll just leave it. But it might be a good potential place to build. It's really easy to move, move buildings in this game. You get all your materials back, so... Let's see what we got here. Let's get up here. Don't think... Uh, we can maybe see what it is. They can dig up there. Okay, we might be able to... We might be able to crack it open. Let's just see. What do we got? It is a carbon dioxide geyser. <laughs> I did get a comment saying this this geyser would not be very useful. Okay, what temperature does it come out at? Minus 55? Are you kidding me? That's not going to help anything. Let's just cancel all that. And let's seal that up. We don't want that. Yeah, we don't want that. That's not going to help anyone. Not now, at least. Maybe in the future. That should just overpressurize. One, one, one can hope. Okay, so that was a that was a dud. Now I did <laughs> when I built this map. I just kind of didn't look at the minor traits. There was one that call it was called like. Geodormant, I think, which means like you don't get many geysers on the map, which is kind of like some bad news actually. Because uh, we need geysers <laughs> desperately. Now, the goal is to, la to, to last 100 cycles. I think that's maybe possible just with the food on the map. I don't know. That's certainly not very exciting, so we want to... Definitely want to do more than just that. 
What do we got here? Oh, pufflets. That's food. Not taking on any more dupes just yet. Could probably do a little bit more research here. Basic research. Get all oh, get everything queued up as much as we can. It's food time. Do want to get a great hall, but we need an artist to make a nice item in here first. Some of you have said that I should prioritize all my dupes into, um, like, specialties. And I might do that later, but for now I'm just going to let them all work. Because there's not really much to do except for dig. Okay, we got to head up to that other geyser. Let's, uh, any guesses what it will be? Those of you who have not played this map yet. No outhouse built. Um, got a comment about compost being warm. And they do give off a little bit of heat, if you look. They do give off 1000 DTU. Which is... There's just so much cold mass in this map that it's not going to even dent it. We need hot liquid. And once we get a little bit of hot liquid... With the refinery, we can get even more hot liquid, so... Once we find a little bit of steam or water, I think we're going to be unlocking a bunch of stuff here. So we'll keep the digging going. Camille. Getting close. Getting close. We should probably allocate a few more points here. Bunny, you like farming? Oh, we'll, we're going to need a good artist at some point here. So, Bunny. Nicola. We'll have to erase your skills later, but for now... Maybe just digging, I guess? Because we need lots of diggers. And construction, I think that's safe to do. How are we doing for coal? 18 tons of coal. Algae's a bit low, but there's tons of pockets out there. What is this? Solid chlorine. Now, does making a mess actually stress them out? I don't think so. So, I'll just ignore that. Keep that research going. Uh, we can do the basic research into these, so do that. Batteries are charged, so we're just wasting coal here. I'll turn this off. Can we build a switch? I don't usually use them, but... Uh, switch. Yeah, maybe we should just... Ah, that's fine. We'll just manually operate it for now. Okay, are we up in there yet? Almost. We're gonna have to go up and over, or under. What's the easiest way in here? Uh, we'll go down, I think. Or maybe over. Under? Over? Uh, we'll go under. Dig as much as we can there. See what we got. Oh, there's one more here too. Okay. We might get lucky. Let's do all that as priority seven. I'm getting chlorine, but it turns to a solid right away. Could put it underwater if we had some water, but we don't have any water. Our pufflets are probably going to freeze to death. Food is actually getting low, so I better prioritize a bit of digging down here. Try to get some little bits of food. Without digging the whole thing out, might be some here. Don't need that to be priority nine though.
Yeah, we just found a lot of food there. Jumped up to 28,000. Okay, good. Hope it give us a bit of breathing room. As we get in here. Now, if there is water, it's gonna... If it's, there is steam, it's gonna turn into ice pretty much immediately. So we're gonna have to be quick about getting it. Maybe try to build some tiles to capture the... Try to get all this mass out of here, because when you dig, it, it, it cuts the mass in half. What will it be? If it's a cool, if it's a cool slush geyser, I will, I will rage quit. No, I'm kidding. I won't. I'll keep going. Cause there's more. If we can grab these little bits here. Actually, I think we are getting chlorine gas here. But... It's freezing. Let's see here. It melts at one, negative 101. Okay, there's no air for them to breathe here. So that's kind of an issue. Made a mess. Uh, not a problem. Okay, are we are we there yet, Camille? Oh, it's gonna take a bit. Now it's downtime, so okay. We'll have to let them relax. Let's take a look around here. What else do we got? Any We could deoxidize rust once we get it. Oh, there's another geyser down here. And there's some food and oxygen here. I kinda wanna just poke in here. Low priority. Get some food while we're down here. Get that. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few, quite a bit of hidden food down here. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Okay, let's, uh, let's in impatient this. I kind of have to get over here to see what we got. Maybe I should build like a little highway for them as well. Kind of want to keep the levels going here, so... Keep everything four, four apart for continuity. That would be right there. Okay, what do we got? Another carbon dioxide vent? Are you kidding? 500 degrees, though. Okay, we'll take it. Tiny amounts, though. 427 grams. It's not going to be enough mass to do anything. Okay. Cancel this for now. Wow. Are all the geysers going to be carbon dioxide? This is a cursed map. Camille's getting in there. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go...
over, I guess. Might be able to take this out a little bit more. I don't think the heat is going to do us any good, though. It's just going to get sucked up by all this cold. I mean, it's better than nothing. So we'll allow it, but uh, not going to help much. What about this one? What do we get here? Let's pray for barbecue. Nope. <laughs> uh, it's amusing every time watching them drop little pellets of pee. Should we take on another dupe? No, probably not. We'll run out of food. We need some self-sufficiency in the food area first before we go a bit crazy with the, uh... The dupes. I really want to clean this blue there, though. It's looking nasty. Okay, what will this one be? Hmm. Might have to go up and over here. Any other geysers out there? I could just make beeline it for the surface. Check for that regolith. That might be our kind of Final option. Then we could bring ice up to the hot regolith and make a bit of water. Okay, where's everyone? What are they doing? Running on the wheel. We're digging this out. Okay, get that little bit of food. Probably should have left this out, but like I said, I won't leave it all in. Oh, let look at this food here. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I guess we'll deprioritize this for now, but I want to get down there and get that before it freezes. Okay. Now we're in business, folks. Now we're in business. There's a guys right here, too. Okay, what's the best way to get over there? Priority eight. Let's let's do this. Get some food on the way. Oh joy, joy is joy. This is wonderful. This is good. Okay, we want to kind of bottle that up as best we can. Oh, you know what? We could use airflow tiles. We could use airflow tiles. Uh. Because they trap liquid quite nicely. Something like that, maybe? And then just build like a wall up. They also kind of are going to be per perfect insulation. I totally forgot about airflow tiles. This is a bit of a... I wouldn't call it a bug, but... The steam will get through it. The liquid will get trapped. Or will it? Yeah, it will. Hmm, okay. This is happy days. I'm curious what this one is. Party nine's probably a bit too much. Let's just dial that back a bit, because there's in case there's some real emergencies. And we wanna oh there's lots of oxygen in here. We'll be fine. Food's getting a bit low, so this is good timing. 
We need to leave room for a pitcher pump. Maybe... Maybe like that. Because this should fill up. We'll probably also build one here to soak this up. This water is... Yeah. Yeah, it's slowly cooling down. So we got to use it. Use it or lose it. Get it in that research. Okay, come on guys. Come in here. Get in there. Do the work. So we'll dig this out as well. Let that oxygen kind of flow. Now, if they pee in the water supply, that's a bit of an issue. So maybe bathrooms would be good now. Basic. So basic bathrooms. Okay. Where to put them? We could put them over here in a dead end hallway. Let's get some plumbing set up. Okay, sinks. Uh, are under medicine. It's been a while since I played. Wash basin. Put that there. We'll just build one to start. We'll leave room for three sinks. And then put an outhouse down here. Get a basic latrine going. Uh, we'll set this priority seven. Okay. This is good. I was starting to get worried. We found a little bead of water. Now, how much is this putting out and how hot is it? 110, 5,000 grams. That's actually pretty good. They might get fried in here. So we gotta be careful of scalding, but... Okay, look at that. I like this. I like this a lot. We need a ladder right here. We got water. We tapped it. 1,500 kilograms. We gotta use it wisely. <laughs> okay, research. Let's let's pause and make sure we got the advanced research going. What's the most critical research? Oh, they're already they're already on it. Okay, smart battery we got. Okay, automation we need. Fire pole we need. Uh, do we have everything? Oh, insulation. Well, that's kind of important. <laughs> Let's do that. We're going to crack that nut. Crack that uh, insulation nut. And I'm really curious what's in here now. But we got water. We should insulate this whole area keep all this heat in here and we'll insulate underneath here actually in here will be just fine I think we'll just build this up yeah that water 225 degrees and oh it's, it's heating up actually okay cool how's the oxygen in here low Okay, let's put the priority on the research up a bit. Oxygen's fine. I want a bit more airflow here. Any water available there? Yeah, a little bit. A little trickle. Analyze that, I guess. And try to see what we got here. What could it be? Okay, we gotta figure out where we want to grow our meal wood. Did we get our latrine going here? Yep, yeah, set that pretty high priority. It's, uh, don't want that poop building up. Put another sink here. That is going to use up some water. Do they even need to wash their hands? I don't even know. How much water is this going to use? 
Dinner counter moons. I think we can spare it. Cleanliness. Okay, we got two bathrooms. Or two outhouses. That's probably good. At least they won't have to pee on the ground anymore. Okay, stress is a bit high. Food is getting low. Do some more food digging here. Oh, what are we missing here? Water? Okay, not a problem. We'll get that. Oh, they're getting their feet wet in here. That's never good. Let's make a ladder for them here. Maybe up a bit so we get a bit more room. Are they going to be able to reach that? Hmm. I think they can jump down from there. Now, do we want that cold mass falling in there? Probably not. Camille's probably ready for a level here. Yes, okay, super hard digging. Here we go. Let's dig like this instead. And, oh, damage overheated. Really? How hot is it here? What? Which one's overheating? This one, oh. Jeez. Okay. I'm surprised, because it's so damn cold just around here. Hmm. Maybe we'll just let it... Uh, we'll disable auto repair. Just let it kind of die on its own there. I think it'll cool down eventually, though. And we got water here. A little bit. Some ice <laughs> right beside it. Actually, this was all water at some point. You know what? Let's, uh... Hmm. We could let it spill down, but then it's gonna... Maybe we'll extend this tank a bit. that reed fiber. I don't want to kill the reed fiber. <laughs> we'll, we'll let a little bit spill over here. And maybe that'll help cool things down. We don't want all our heat to be lost though. So... Little, little tiny bits of water. This is going to melt and pour down here, though. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> 56 grams, 17 grams. This is going to break and probably cool right down. Let's do an emergency tile right here, real quick. Priority 9. Try to contain that. Same there, maybe. Okay. I can see them getting trapped in here if things melt. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How much do we have left in there? Eh. That water is going to freeze solid really quickly. We'll try to salvage it here. Put a pump here. Disable this pump for now. We'll try to get this bit of water first. And this can... This one can come out here. Okay, that might work a little bit better. Okay, I think we're good. And what was this thing? Uh, can't really tell. 
what that is. I haven't memorized all the geyser colors. New printing. Uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> 2,000 water. We'll take that. Don't need a Weezwort right now. That's for sure. Maybe someday. Colony needs a food source. Oh, crap. I've been uh, too busy doing other stuff. But now we can make delicious mush bars. So we shall do that. Um, I forgot to put a light in for them as well. Okay. Uh, let's do that first. Microbe musher. We already got this grill. So at least we can make that and then cook mush bars. Not the best food, but we got water and we got dirt now, so let's use it. And we got a heat source. Okay, mush bars, please. Forever. Priority. And we're out of power. Let's turn the power on. And we got our smart battery, so let's hook that up. And some automation wire for the coal generator so we don't waste coal. These, I'll probably just leave these here for heat, maybe. Keep this door open, I think. Okay, smart battery, we'll just uh, leave that kind of range going there. That'll make it a bit smarter. Good, okay. Might want to double up our power too. At some point, get two generators going. We got lots of coal. Okay, everything froze. Oh crap! Let's turn this one on right away. Oh, <laughs> uh, we could also put. We could build ice cubes in here. Put some mesh tiles right here, maybe, or we could build it right here. Let's see, furniture, ice block, or right here. And what do we get here? Hot polluted oxygen vent. Yep. We'll take that. Yes, please. It's not infectious. This is good. That's just free oxygen. At what temperature? I forgot to look. 500 degrees. Jeez, Jeez Louise. That's hot. I think it'll be okay, though. This is going to be a become a hot area. Maybe we can build our food down here. Okay, don't, don't, no, we don't want the art. <laughs> we just want it to spill over. I think I might actually put a bit of room here for another ice sculpture. And then maybe move my ladder up a bit. So that's going to be there, and then ladder here. Okay, what priority did I do that? Nine? No, that's more like a six, I think. Okay, we gotta be, we gotta insulate this bottom here as fast as possible. Insulate a tile, please. Igneous rock is probably the best. That will do as a nine. And really, we want it under here as well. Right up to the Neutronium. Maybe under here too. Yeah. A bit messy, I'll admit. <laughs> but that should keep this water warm. This is like the oasis. It's the oasis in the uh, ice cube. Soggy feet. <laughs> that steam is turning into ice like almost instantly. 
Okay, this can come out. And I guess we'll just kill this here. That's not going to turn into water anytime soon. We'll keep our ice sculptures going. Just to keep this area a moderate temperature. No research. Okay, we should probably be doing research. Uh, deodorizers would be good. Uh, we need we need better art, but deodorizers first, I think. How's our artist? Once we get a masterwork artist, I think we can get a great hall going. Help the morale a bit. Okay, that instantly instantly turned into water, which is good. Let's we'll keep building those. Oh, we got a cave in. Okay, the food is actually dangerously low again. Okay, let's uh, let's do some food digging. There's probably some chunks in here we can get. And where should we put the food? I think maybe down here. It's actually not very warm here. Hmm. We could insulate this. We got some natural insulation here. And some here. We could just try to insulate a box around this. And then try to move all the hot material out and just build our farms here. We have to keep them kind of at a steady temperature though. If we had more water, we could transport the water. And build like a little reservoir that we could keep heated. That might be the way to go. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea for a grow room. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we want an insulated bottom. Nice rock. And then maybe we could put some water in a tepidizer. Do we have a tepidizer yet? No, we have to research that. Okay. Yeah, so the idea is maybe maybe like a little tiny pool of water in here. Keep it warm with the tepidizer. But not too warm. And then have metal tiles to conduct the heat. And then food above that. Now, I don't think we can get away with one tile of water, but maybe we can. Never built one of these. Yeah, if we do something like that, and then one tile of water, tepidizer, a row of metal tiles. Kind of, kind of like in-floor heating, but with water. Yeah, where's tepidizer? Let's see here. There it is. We'll do that next. We gotta get the food growing pretty soon, because uh, we are running low. I never did see what this geyser was, so let's go... Or did we? Chlorine gas vent? No, we don't want that right now. That's no good. That won't uh, help us much. We are making mush bars. And let's add mush fry here forever. I already ate. Kinda need two people cooking. Make this a seven. 
And this one, uh, eight. That way, hopefully they'll cook these first. Oh, there they go. Fry it up. Fry up that disgusting food. So if we dump water on the floor here, it should stay relatively warm. We'll have to clear out all this cold stuff first. How big do we want it? Maybe 24 tiles? Maybe we'll start small. I'm not even sure this is going to work. Don't have any metal tiles yet. Have to research that as well. Or we could skip the metal tiles and go straight for uh, farm tiles on top. Would that work? That might be even easier. So yeah, like put uh, hot water in here. Farm tiles on top. As long as the top is insulated. I think that might, that might work. Fungal spore. Uh, should we take another dupe on? No. Too low on food. Once we get the farm up. Okay, what's going on here? That's not going to build there. How's our water situation? I got a little glowing ember of water. 2,000 kilograms. Hmm. It's going to go fast. Maybe we should seal this in. Uh, with insulation, actually. Yeah. Let's replace these. And maybe just cap this. Cap this off. So that all the hot water stays in here. Let's make that high priority. Now we're kind of wasting a bit of this heat because it's just going into research right now. But it would be too far to pump it up. And we'd have to make a ton of insulated pipe, which we probably don't even have research for yet. Okay, I'm liking this. I got an endless supply of hot oxygen. Food, I really gotta keep an eye on the food. We'll scale this back, even though it's kind of an important project. And we'll make a little highway for them here, because... Do we have fire pole yet? No. Still doing other research. Okay. Fine. That would speed them up, though. Make sure we keep our proper floor sizes here. Hopefully I've done that all correctly. If I missed one, it'll throw everything off and we'll have to rebuild, but I think they're all four. I think we're good. So let's make a little highway here. I think that's the way to go. Just to speed them along here as they come down here to get water and stuff. Because they run faster on this tile, so that's the idea. Oh, didn't like that meal. How about an artist? Oh, almost, almost have a perfect artist. Okay, that's good. And research. Did we get that sculpture done? We gotta do this one, I think, to get the perfect art. But Tepidizer we're not gonna need for a while, so let's do fine art first. First, they must sleep. And I will sweep up this mess at some point. Just not just not yet. Insufficient oxygen generation. Uh okay. 
I'm not gonna do any more, I don't think. Can't really make liquid locks because uh, it's too hot. Okay, we got toilet duty going on here. Double toilet duty. We could get lavatory set up. We have enough water. We could, uh, yeah, we could pump up, put a little bit up, and get a get a loop going. Actually, we can't because it'll freeze solid <laughs> with our insulated pipe. Okay, we got double research going on here. Camille's stressed out. slow going. Food is getting dangerously low again. There's muck root right here. Let's get this food out of here. Should probably be getting the food closer to the base than way down there, so maybe we'll go here instead. Long way for them to go. A little bit easier to get food out of here too. Okay, that was art, I think. And our artist is maybe ready? Yes, this is gonna push their morale requirements up a bit, but it's okay, I think. And I got a bug flying in my face. Okay, masterworks. Get that hat on. Art sculpting block. Let's make that out of granite. It's a little bit nicer. And let's make sure only one person's on art. Decorating. Uh, Bonnie. Same with research. I was going to allow everyone to research, but... Let's only allow our researcher do some specializing there. Should probably do the same thing with building. Maybe we'll make it very low, except for Lyria. Digging, make it very low, except for our people who are decent at digging. Just do a little bit of specializ specialization. I'll probably be doing an episode every other day, so that's the that's the plan. I'm trying to get to 100 cycles. I'll probably go beyond 100 cycles though. This was going to be my practice round before the expansion came out. Okay, we can probably get this out of here. We might need another dupe, even though we're running dangerously. Oh. Low on food. There is some free oxygen in here as well as I can see some food, so we'll, we'll go in here. Probably go here too. Keep an eye on that food, see what they find. The muck root, muck root. Okay, good. Okay, let's make our ration box priority eight. Now there is there was some food in this ice biome. Could try to get in there.
There's not much in there though. There's just that one sleep meat grain, I think. Okay, we're getting our art. Nicola. Are you supposed to be doing art? No. Oh, decorating. Oops. You... You stop doing that. <laughs> Hopefully our artist will do that instead. I don't want to finish this off too. Okay, food's looking a bit better, so let's let's finish this at least so we're keeping the heat in. 50 degrees. Ah, look at that. Perfect. And do we have our tepidizer? I think we might. No, we don't. I thought we, I thought we did it. It's being done? No, it wasn't. We're doing something else. At least they're putting the food away now. Even though there's disgusting air here. Let's start deodorizing this air. Pretty nasty. No real reason to do it other than to make it look better. sure my uh, animation here is working. Oh wait. <laughs> Didn't hook up the smart battery. That might help. Oh, this is kind of game changing. We can't feed them. But they do make a lot of calories. 16,000 calories each when they grow up. And we could try to ranch them, but we don't have any regolith. Unless we go to the top. Let's finish off our highway here. This is taking them forever. Oh, they're coming down here for water. Okay. Okay, so tepidizer in here. We gotta finish this off as well. Don't know how big I wanna make this. Maybe we'll just, this'll be the prototype. We'll go that wide, fill that with water, try to keep it warm with automation, maybe put some storage over here because we're gonna, gonna scoop all this stuff out of there. Yeah, and then build farm tiles on top. Kind of like that. We could do two tiles of water, but I think one's probably good enough. The surface tension is going to suck it up when I put these down. So I'll have to put the water in first. Make sure we got a good chunk of water, then a row of farm tiles. And we got to insulate the top as well. So we need, I think, two high. We'll want two high and then an insulated ceiling. We'll just close this off, I guess. Oh, maybe not. Close it off later. <laughs> After they've done. We're actually at the one hour mark, so I'm going to have to wrap things up here, but you kind of get the idea what I'm going to do. We'll continue on next episode. Tepidizer, water, farm tiles. Maybe some space heater if we need it. 
It won't be much mealwood, but at least it'll be prototype, and then we can kind of duplicate it or extend it if we need it. Yeah, that's the idea. Hopefully it'll work. It should work. And then we're going to have to hand deliver the water, which probably won't take that long. Or the alternative is to put a pump in here with insulated pipe, but I'm a little bit worried the water, even with insulation, would get too cold by the time I got up here. So yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully we don't starve to death in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.